Sarah, this afternoon, the Hartford City Council unanimously voted to approve their $600 million budget for next fiscal year 2025. But as council members were deliberating, dozens of students, teachers, parents crowded into the council chambers, filling those chairs. And at one point, a chant even breaking out while council members were still in the chambers. Take a listen. They say this budget leaves Hartford Public Schools with a $31.5 million shortfall. The superintendent announced last month there will be nearly 400 layoffs district wide to compensate for the budget cuts. The schools are pointing to the end of federal pandemic era funding and what they say is also years of underfunding from the city for the situation they now face. Hartford Mayor Aruna Narulampalam says he approved appreciates the collaboration from this council speaking shortly after the budget was passed this afternoon. But he and members of the city council acknowledge that this budget is not everything everyone wanted. We have said from the beginning that's not a silver bullet and it doesn't do enough. We've done, you know, we've cut to stone in our budget and done what we can from the city side, um, but we're going to continue working with our school district. We're going to continue working with our new board of ed who will be um, hopefully seated soon uh, and with the superintendent and uh, and with state leaders to try to find a long term solution to our schools. We'd all love to write a check um, that, that that is much larger and we just we don't have those funds and we're going to be responsible. We are not going to make the mistakes that we've criticized other entities for making. We're going to be responsible with our budget um, and try to put forward reasonable solutions. Now, an additional ten and a half million dollars from the state and a little bit from the city was added to Hartford's education budget back in the beginning of May a few weeks ago. But school officials say even with that bump, Hartford Public Schools still face the worst budget cuts they've seen in at least 20 years. Now, the mayor does say that going forward, he hopes and plans the city will work with private partners as well as the state to try and supplement the funding that schools here in Hartford need. Live at Hartford City Hall, Emma Wolforce, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. Thank you, 